Hey everyone, Zef here and welcome to Tennis Esports Overview. This year seems to be year of tennis essentially because this is the third game from the same genre and same sport. Though I don't know why the devs call it esports. I mean, okay, I don't know what's the actual definition of it, but I'm not sure an actual discipline can be an esport even though it's happening virtually. Yeah, am I correct or not? <laughs> Multiple tennis titles, but no badminton. Amazing. <laughs> So tennis esports is exactly what you think it is, where you transport yourself on the play courts to compete against other players in a tournament setting, training and arcade scenarios, whether you're a newbie or a professional. So far the track record is that first person tennis was the best one out of the bunch. Tennis league was lacking in terms of the mechanics, but was pretty cool with the UI and features. This one will see where it's gonna place itself. From the looks of it, it kind of might be in the middle where it gives you the training if you need and then just to compete in the matches. We'll be essentially looking at the physics and the engine and how things work with the racket and the ball. At this point it's kind of a routine to check what's going on because the premise is every single time exactly the same. So let's go on the court. Let's find your optimal position. Look down to see the circle. It shows you where you should stand. Mm hmm. I mean, it is some kind of PS1 graphics, like... It's not amazing, but it's not the worst. Now it's time to tap the ball. Hit the floating ball with your racket. You have to hit six balls to continue. <laughs> like, the ball has all this fuss that is, like, normally in real life. I can't hit apparently the proper... Not a single ball scored. Try to hit over the net this time. You will be teleported automatically to play forehands and backhands. Hit six shots into the target to continue. Okay, I wonder if there will be a choice later to move around. I mean, I like the physics. They seem to be very accurate. And what about like stronger shots? Ball E will shoot balls with different speeds and spins. Hit six balls into the target to continue. It's like I can properly know where the ball will land. What about like a different spin? Okay. Oh, Wilson. <laughs> Wait, they have a official funding? I'm pretty sure to use their brand, you have to pay. Well done. Let's do some serves. Look up to find the ball above your head. Move the thumbstick of your racket hand up or down to change the height. Hit three serves to the other side. Why do I not do it with my own hand? That's weird. I mean, it's fine for the gameplay, but it's not immersive. You can also serve by placing the ball wherever you like. The ball is connected to your toss hand. Move the ball with your hand and use the trigger to place and grab it again. Hit three serves to the other side. Yeah, but that's not what I asked for. Now you're holding the ball in your toss hand. No need for buttons to release here. To release the ball, just swing your hand upwards fast. Hit three serves to the other side.
I mean, I would appreciate to grab it and then release it, not with just movement. Yeah, I mean, it's gonna be wonky because it's not definitely natural. I need to have a grab button. So this position thing is better now in this situation, but... It's weird. You can switch between toss modes anytime by pressing the grip button of your toss hand. Well done. Now you are ready to play a match. With the B button, you can pause and exit the court anytime. Go, have fun. Okay, so we have the time, match mode, training. Oh, there's a lot of stuff. But I want to go straight to the matches. But you see, like, there are different serves, different techniques to get you more into the tennis rules. The UI looks nice. <laughs> Love the surnames. Hard clay grass. This is because of the ball, you know, bouncing and stuff. Temperature? I didn't know that's important. And the altitude, okay. I can't switch to running. Player one to serve. I mean. If I'm not grabbing it, then it makes no sense, so just let me do the placing method. I mean, it's teleporting me around. Zero, one, player two, first service. Huh. What the? <laughs> Out. Two, zero, player two, first service. And he went to the terrain. Uh. He didn't even hit the ball. I saw that. Uh. Jesus. <laughs> Out. Three, zero, player one, first service. Zero, four, player one, first service. I will always suck at those games because I can't move here. In real life. <laughs> one, four, player two, first service. Why they are changing the services? I thought you have to play the whole set to change. Out. Four, two, player two, first service. Huh. I need to maybe curve the racket. Huh. Five, two, player one, first service. What miss? The game didn't teleport me. Two, six, player one, first service. What? I don't get it. Out. Two, seven. Player two, first service. He didn't hit it again. Two, player two, first service. What? Like, I don't get it. 
I should be clearly teleported there. Is the teleportation not fast enough or too far? Nine, two, player one, first service. Am I crazy? Tell me I'm crazy. Because I'm looking at, I don't see it. Out. Player one, second service. Oof. You have to hit in those areas, right? I think I'll read the rules because. Surely something's going on, no? The baseline is the line that represents the furthest back a ball can land. The singles and doubles sidelines mark the outer edge along the side of the court. The service box indicates where a land has to a serve has to land. Maybe I'm incompetent or something, but I didn't have that problem in other games. So I'm just confused overall. Let me play more. Like it's very weird. Player one to serve. Out. One zero. Player two. First service. Because it has to bounce, then you can hit it. One all. Player two. First service. Maybe it's the actual teleportation that. Out. Player two. Second service. It can't reach Out. the ball. One, two, player one, first service. As fast, like you know, those are the parameters. I mean, in terms of physics, this is fine with me. Player one. First service. I wish I would move because the other games introduced that and now I see the difference. Out. Player one. Second service. Ace. Three, two. Player two. First service. Out. Player two. Second service. Two, four, player two, first service. I mean, this guy's a moron. <laughs> That's why I'm winning. Three, four, player one, first service. So he missed. The ball went on my side. I feel like it was just too far. So maybe the game just doesn't let you Out. do certain player stuff. One. Second service. If they are impossible in your life. Out. Four. Oh. But I like Player it one. curves depending on the angle and speed. Oof. Four. Five. Player two. First service. Huh. Out. Six. Four. Player two. First service. Seven, four, player one, first service. Yeah, I don't understand it. I actually just have no idea. Ace. Five, seven, player one, first service. Five, eight, player two, first service. Out. Nine, five, player two, first service. Out. Nine, six, player one, first service. Out. Seven, nine, player one, first service. Ace. Eight, nine, player two, first service. Out. Player two, second service. Out. 
Nine. All. Player two. First service. To the last point. Out. Nine. Ten. Player one. First service. Out. Player one. Second service. I thought I'm um, finishing after 10. Okay, but to me it seems the same case, even though I won. So like, I'm just confused overall. I literally have no idea what has happened, but if I'm wrong or correct, doesn't matter. In terms of the art style, it's pretty basic. The UI is nice, the physics, they are like enjoyable and correct for the most part, it's just that the rules I'm a little bit suspicious about. Though I don't know if you'll notice it in the video because the image is just too small to see the ball. The avatars and their movement as well, sometimes they registered the hit but they didn't show it visually or like they teleported outside of the terrain. They tried to hit the ball with a racket but the ball was like outside of the zone but it's still like counted. There are some polish issues which you can easily fix. It's pretty expensive for what it is, maybe because of this Wilson brand deal. Though I have no idea where this game is placing in the whole tennis realm because like I don't know what have happened so if anyone can elaborate please tell me. <laughs>